I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. In today's ASPL Accounting System tutorial video, I'll talk about purchase requests. Let's go to SQL Accounting System. We go to Purchase Module. The system will start with Purchase Request. Now, maybe you will not make use of Purchase Request, then no problem, you can skip this tutorial. Purchase Request is Normally, for a big organization, they have a purchasing department, then there is a lot of purchaser. So instead of directly issuing purchase order to the supplier, internally, they may need to have a purchase request to send to the purchasing manager and get approval first. So this is one way. Another way is some people will actually use purchase request to send to their supplier and request for quotation and so on. Well. It depends whatever you want to use, no problems. Just that for purchasing module, the first transaction can start with purchase request. If you do not use purchase request, you use the first thing for your company is purchase order, no problem. You just go to purchase order. So let's go to purchase request. Same things whenever you go to a maintenance screen or a transaction screen in SQL, the first thing is a listing of all your transactions inside. Now we're going into purchase request. This is all the purchase requests available. SQL do not require to do month and year end. So this is the purchase request from day one you use the system unless you do a year end. Okay. So purchase request when you come in is a listing of all the purchase requests available. So the first row is empty is a searching row, meaning that let's say you remember a purchase request number and you want to search for it, then you just type the number. Then it will appear. If you do not remember the purchase request number, maybe you remember the company name. So, meaning that every column is a searching criteria for you. And if you want to use additional or others few for you to search, just right click any column title. Let's say I right click the title description column, field chooser. Then I can actually drag available field, maybe agent, just drag. And if you do not want that column to appear, maybe currency is not useful for you, you can actually drag, left click, do not release, then drop back to the field chooser or right click that column title and click on remove this column, then it will remove it. Another way is at this column title, most left there is a three dot but a multi-line button, click on it. Any available field, if you want, maybe area, just click on area, then it will appear. Right? So let's create a first transactions in SQL. Go to new. Now, all transactions in SQL, we settle within one page. The first thing is, because this is a purchasing, so we need to select a supplier. Okay, we need to select supplier. So when I select supplier, you can see that the code is bold and this column is highlighted. That means now my focus to do searching is using the code. If you do not want to use the code and you want to use company name for searching, instead of drag, then you can go and scroll up to look for that particular supplier. At keyboard, there is a tab key, T A B, tab key, tap it, then you can see that the focus now jump to company name. So what I need to do, I just type a letter and it will appear. Let's say you do not memorize the whole com complete company name and you just remember part of it. You want to, whenever you type a character, it will search the whole company name. So at right hand side bottom, you can see an A over here. So it's on the left, so meaning that searching is from left. You click one time, you will be in the middle. So when I type anything, so it will search the whole name okay so m so it's for that a then you get your answer so with this way it's very very fast and also you do not need to memorize any supplier code item code customer code or account code in sql accounting system because we are able to use description or the name to do searching so click on item or the supplier name the request number will run automatically. The date will follow the system date. You can change it accordingly if you want to. If you have another set of running number or your running number, do not want to be like this. 
in future tutorial video I talk about how to maintain the document number. So then you select the item that you want to request, click on the plus sign. So same things go to item code. You can use description or the code to do searching. Let's say I want to purchase this one. Okay, so you can see that the quantity will automatically be one. Unit price will come up using the restaurant price in maintain stock item for this item. So it's a total. If you do not need to use all these text things, no problem. Right click, remember? Remove. Right click, remove. Remember, it's right click the title of that column. Okay, you can do this. Or you can click on this. Then click or unclick okay now let's say I put two so it will automatically multiply for me and if you want to have more description right click any column title again field chooser drag more description out then you can have more description unlimited line then you want to have additional row or another item So if everything is okay, then you click on save. So transaction done. Remember, purchase request is not an accounting document, it's just a business document. So it will not have effect on accounting nor item stock control. That means it will not increase your item, it will not have posting to account. So merely is you just print this out, okay? This is a preview icon. Select one of the format. Okay, you can print it using this icon or export to Excel or others format. Arrow down, you can export to PDF format. Maybe this is Maxis Purchase Request. Save. Then it's available at your desktop. And you can email to your supplier. So the, there's no letterhead because you have not set under the company profile. Report header. Okay. So you can have attachment over here also. If you want to, that means anything that related to this purchase request, you can attach over here as a reference only. And it will not put into accounting system as normal. So more you can have more information that you want to put in. Later on, we'll talk about project. Okay, some notes maybe. Item time that we'll talk in future also. So basically, this is how you create a purchase request in SK accounting system. So thank you for watching. Once again, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. Mm -hmm.